My name is Jaime Lascano and I am a third degree black belt in Judo and I am a purple belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. In Revolution Dojo, I am the head Judo coach for the Judo team and I am assistant coach in the Brazilian Jiu Jitsu program. I've been training for 14 or 15 years approximately in Judo and I've been training approximately off and on, introduced to BJJ since 2000 or so. Uh, I have been coaching judo for a long time. Uh, when I was in Texas A&M, I was the judo team captain there, and uh, I was able to help out coach quite a bit, quite often, whenever the head coaches couldn't make it uh, to practice. Um, after that, I started with Revolution Dojo and established uh, coaching team here for the adults program in 2010 and it's growing quite greatly now. Judo is considered a grappling martial art as well as it's an Olympic sport. Our main focus in Judo is to try to take a person down and either immobilize them once they hit the ground or submit them once they get to the ground. Judo is directly translated as the gentle way and that's direct translation from a Japanese term so what we're trying to do here is maximize maximum energy minimum effort that's our motto if you're a Brazilian Jiu Jitsu practitioner or a judoka you need to be cross training in my opinion it's, that's the whole reason why I started in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu so it could supplement my judo you see whenever you get deep into a sport and you start fighting at a higher level, the small holes is what really makes the difference. So if you're a high level jiu-jitsu player, at one point you won't be able to rely on neglecting your throws. If you are a high level judoka, you can't neglect the ground. Somebody will expose your hole and the more holes that you have, the worse it is going to be for you. From far away, nothing's going to happen. You're too far away. You have to take your step and get in deep, okay? You can't try to throw from out here, it will not work. You take a step, boom, that's your throw. Well, it, it is true, most people on the street are not wearing geese, but judo is extremely practical for self-defense, uh, even though you're not using a gi. Frankly speaking, people are not walking around without a shirt either. So, believe it or not, just a simple t-shirt can aid you so, so much more in uh, finishing the fight, either helping you throw somebody or submitting them on the ground. Now, I think that the biggest aspect for Judo is not so much learning techniques and grips in certain ways. I think it's the awareness of your body that it gives you. In a fight in the street, you will notice somebody start punching you and immediately come to grab you. This is when you can excel with Judo. You've been grabbed so many times Hopefully you have a lot more exposure than your attacker and you should be able to, your body should be able to react accordingly because it is all muscle memory. Uh, judo can be adapted into mixed martial arts with care. Um, the problem here is that it takes a long, a long time to get really good with throws. So whenever people first attempt to do throws without a gi and a uniform, it's a lot harder doing it on a body that's sweaty. and. And, uh, and try to be effective with it. But once you understand the principles and you're able to, uh, to attack without a gi, you will notice that it's highly effective because uh, the control that you have over a body, it's, it's undeniable. And you can see great examples of this uh, in MMA these days with uh, people like Ronda Rousey or Rick Hahn. Uh, but you can't just come in learn a judo throw and expect to do it in an MMA match. You have to really work at it. In Revolution Dojo, we run a strict competitive program. Um, I'm not the most technical coach in the world. I'm not the best coach with terms. Um, I know those weaknesses, but also my judo career was mainly composed of competition and that's what I know and that's what I teach um, that's how our program is run here we're all about competitive training and 
that's what our, our main focus is. Randori, it, when we speak in Randori and Revolution, we basically are saying everybody can fight now. It's a control situational fight. Um, you, both opponents are trying to throw each other, both opponents are trying to submit, submit each other. Uh, Randori is a big part of our, of our program here. We run Dory every single class. Judo can benefit people in many aspects. They can, it can bring physical fitness. You have to, you will get in better shape if you're dedicated in Judo. It's not a question if, you will. Um, it'll also bring you some relaxation to your life. Uh, you're able to release a lot of stress, which seems a lot of people are under stress these days. It brings you a, self of, uh, a sense of uh, self-fulfillment every day you're adding on every day you're you're uh, getting better at, at the sport it's also very good for you mentally it gives you some reflexes all of a sudden you start seeing things differently you're more aware not to mention your self-confidence your self-confidence will just skyrocket I see people coming here all the time with not so great of a self-esteem you see them again two three years later and they're a completely different person my favorite throw is Seonagi. Harai Goshi. My favorite throw is Sore Suri Komigoshi. Kaoji. Seonagi. Taitoshi. Moroto Seonagi. Uchigari. I think part of the reason why people sometimes don't want to come out to judo is the rumors that it gets created. People say, oh, it's too tough on your body. You're going to get injured. You're going to hurt yourself. Uh, it's too physical. Support of the game. Train hard, you gotta go hard. You know, it's grip fighting right there. It's not, you know. I really try to make it to a point where I'm able to bring people up. If it's your first day, I'm not gonna make you fight. I'm not gonna make you get beat up by everybody. Mm -hmm. Fixed, back in the mat. <laughs> I'm gonna teach you how to fall. You're gonna learn to take it easy and work your way up to some of the more advanced techniques that the team does. You have to come back if, if you feel like, if you're afraid of not coming back, I can guarantee you the first month is the tough one. Um, if, if you don't make it past the first month, I don't think you gave yourself a true chance. Uh, you really have to make it past the first month, be dedicated, and everything gets easier. And that's true not just for judo, 
for any sport or anything in life. You have to keep constant. When it gets hard, you gotta keep pushing. If I didn't train judo, I would be training Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. <laughs> <It's not right. laughs> if I wasn't involved in martial arts, I would be. Or say, if, if I didn't train that. Okay. If I was not involved in martial arts, I would fully focus all my time to becoming a professional fisherman. <laughs> <laughs> I think if you're hesitant and you're afraid about trying judo, you really got to give yourself a chance, you know? Be honest with your coach. Come in and tell him, hey, you know, I would really like to try judo out, but these are my hesitations. I don't feel confident because, because of whatever reason. Um, me personally, I will help you through it. If you go there and do that somewhere else, I'm sure they will give you a reason to work through it. If not, you're in the wrong place, so yeah, come train with us.